and hope to keep you entertained. The one-two pitch. Swung and missed, strike three. Auburn being a little more patient, seeing Valdez more than they jumped on the first pitch last night. But there's a high fly ball. Woley jumped on that first pitch and sent it over the monster in left. Two-run home run, Rankin Woley. No more waiting. It was time to crank. Two-nothing Auburn. Another payoff pitch due Stephen Williams with Bliss at second and two outs in the third, the pitch. Fly ball, center field. He got a lot of it. Did he get all of it? Leaping in the center fielder gate, and it's off the wall. Bliss scores easily. Williams pulls into second. It's an RBI double. Three-nothing. Auburn leads it on the fourth double of the year for Stephen Williams. Getting on base, here's the pitch. That's line, back up the middle. It just barely missed Stephen Williams, who won't score on the play because it was coming at him like a torpedo, and he had to dive out of the way. The 0-2. Fly, a line drive, left field, long run for the left fielder. It's over his head. Scoring easily is Williams. Davis stops at third. It's the third double of the inning for the Tigers, the third of the year for Matt Scheffler. They howl pretty deep in the outfield, a couple of steps back in left and in center. And he sends one to center field, long run, gate headed toward right center. The wind picks it up, diving try, can't make the play. Two more runs will score. Let's see if Gaten is all right. He dove and crashed into the wall in right center field. It is a two-run double for Kaysen Howell. The 1-1, breaking ball, hit to center. That'll get down. It'll be played on two hops by Gaten. Here is Howell. Throw is cut off. Howell scores. 7 nothing Tiger. Catcher sets up outside again in the 0-2 pitch. That's hit in the air to right field. Down the line. Brock's diving. He won't be able to get to that one. Let's see how far they let Woley run. They'll wave him around. On the way to third is Moore. He's got an RBI triple. The 1-1. Grounded, fair, down the line, in left, into the corner it goes. Garrett Farquhar headed for second base. He's in standing. Nine nothing, Auburn. Farquhar's second double of the year, his ninth run batted in. He's ready to go now. Long, so are they. One for Stephen last night. And there's a drive. Did he get enough? Deep right field toward the bullpen. Brock looks up and that one is gone. Bounces over the bullpen and into the construction zone. Second home run of the weekend for Stephen Williams. Second home run of the year for the big left-handed from Thomasville, Georgia. Stretch by Gregory again. They all pitch again with the runners going. There's a number up the first baseline and into the corner. One run is in. Howell is at third, and he's going to hold up there as they get it back in very quickly. Stretch by Kaplan, the right-hander, checks the runners. Delivers, grounder up the middle into center field, base hit. One run will score, other runners will hold at first and second, and that is another RBI base hit for Brody Moore. I don't think the ball was hit that hard. And there's a wild pitch on the first pitch back, and Woolley will score from third. And the ball is going further before it breaks. So it has gotten straighter, and he's had to adjust to that. The 0-2 blew it by him, swung and missed. Fastball 94 miles an hour inside. No chance for bloat. There's out number one in the seventh. Strikeout number seven for the Tigers here this afternoon. The 1-2 pitch. Swung on and missed. He foul tipped it into LaRue's mid. One ball, two strikes. Shanker's got to be ready for anything here, and he does, and he sends it into left field. Ground ball, base hit, Shanker. One run is in, here comes Miller. The throw is cut off, a two-run single for John Samuel Shanker, and it's 16 to two Tigers. The wind and the delivery. Breaking ball, hit in the air, left field, that should do it. Brown is there, he's got it, and the ball game is over. Auburn has won the series against Chicago State, taking today's game by the final of 16 to 2.